Well, about 30 years ago, I spent time in the Appalachian Mountains and I was learning to live off the land and I was very interested in being a, learning survival skills. And I went on a vision quest. One of the plants I came upon was a black cohosh root. And if you've ever dug a black cohosh root, you know how hard they are to dig. They're very entangled roots, they're just entangled. It's a tough process. So it brought out all the emotions I was experiencing during my vision quest. Um, anger, ex different life changes I was going through, and uh, experiencing this digging of the root was a therapy, it became a therapy. And so I would dig the root and then I'd suck on the root, and when I sucked on the black cohosh root, it gave me an amazing sense of peace and, and just solace. I just loved the way that it made me feel. My stomach was calm. It was a very calming and relaxing root to suck on. So I had this relationship with black cohosh root that summer. And then um, in 1986, I met herbalist Matthew Wood at an herb workshop in Flagstaff. And he dabbled in this little medicine cabinet that he has, and he picked out this bottle. And he asked me, will I open my mouth? I said, sure. So he dropped about three drops of this tincture in my mouth. And when he did that, without even telling me what it was, my memories went back to six years earlier in the Appalachian Mountains with the black cohosh root. I discovered that what he gave me was a black cohosh flower essence. That was a kind of an awakening for me in the world of plants, in the intelligence that plants have, in the qualities that plants give and offer to others. Uh, just what a profound experience that was for me. Right then, that weekend, I was ready to make flower essences. We're going to visit the monkey flowers. And the monkey flowers like to live where water flows. That's one of its signatures of the monkey flowers. They live in this beautiful setting where there's little trickles of water and little um, waterfalls, mountain waterfalls, where the water is coming down from the mountains. And you can imagine a certain grace and ease of what it's like when you finally let go at times when you don't want to let go and you allow yourself to just go with the flow and move downstream. So the monkey flowers are great teachers to help us adapt to moving with the flow, the, with the current of life rather than resisting what is going to happen anyway. So they help us adapt to change gracefully and without so much struggle. Just trusting that wherever we end up we're going to be okay. So we wildcraft most of our flowers. Some of them come from organic gardens. What is unique about this brand is that we have researched all of these flowers, from the roots to the flowers and all the parts in between. Uh, we have sent unknown samples to people, who, some who never even experienced a flower essence before, who have taken a flower essence for the first time in their life and felt the effects of the flower. You can taste it, you can feel it, you can believe in it, that you're getting the essence of the taste of the real flower essence made in nature that's not an overly diluted bottle when it gets to the store. You, you, you're able to actually look at the flower photos in my books and imagine where these plants grow and be with the plants, be as the plants, and drink the water as if you're drinking the flower essence water, as if you're right here in nature. And it takes you right there and allows you to be present in the process.